French Defense, Classical, McCutcheon, Advance, Dr. Olland Variation. Balance neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. And f6 defends the d5 pawn and also attacks the e4 pawn. Bg5 pins the knight on f6 and threatens e4 e5. Bb4 develops the bishop and pins the knight on c3 to the king. e5 closes the center and attacks the pinned knight on f6. h6 attacks the bishop on g5 forcing white to either retreat the bishop or exchange it for the knight on f6. Bc1 retreats the bishop to a safe square. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. The knight is now adequately defended. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.